In this video, I'm going to do treatment for throat area, which is anterior part of neck. When people have tight throat, that can affect neck movement, swallowing, speech, and so on, related to neck problem. And if you follow a connection of internal organs and myofascia, tightness around this area can affect jaw, head, Rib cage, uh, abdominal area, even for pelvic floor, makes sense, right? Because esophagus becomes stomach, stomach becomes intestines, and this myofascia goes to pelvic floor, makes sense. How do I test that? I want her to do a swallowing at this neck extension position. So please swallow. It's hard to. Do I see a tension around throat? One more time, swallow. So this is before treatment. As she swallows, I feel tension on backside. Let's see after treatment. I drain lymph around clavicle, around neck. And I'm going to work muscles below mandible. Yes, she is very tight. Tightness around this area can affect chewing, which is mastication, swallowing, maybe for speech. Very nice. Now, I check tension between hyoid bone and mandible. I should work on hyoid. Now I am on thyroid cartilage. constrictor muscles of throat. Again, constrictor muscle. Nice. I feel tension around mandible and throat is almost gone. I just walk here. Yep. And neck extension. Neck extension is very nice. Now I want her to do swallowing. Swallow, please. It's very, very smooth. One more time, swallow. Before treatment, that movement was not very smooth. They were stuck around throat, but now it's very, very clear. See, the tension around throat can affect swallowing and neck range of motion. If you liked today's video, please hit the like button, comment, and subscribe. See you next video.